Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, uh, create strings or uh, work with strings uh, in C++. Okay. So first, in this uh, very uh, lesson, introductory lesson on strings, so we will uh, learn how to deal with uh, uh, C style strings in uh, C++ programming language. Okay. So apart from uh, uh, C style strings, uh, C++ also has a special <coughs> Excuse me. The special way to implement uh, uh, or handle uh, the strings. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a uh, Visual Studio Express 2013 for uh, Windows desktop. Okay. So already uh, for your information, I have created a project under the name uh, C style strings here. Okay. So which consists of uh, strings dot cvp. Right. So let me add all the uh, basic stuff like header files. So hash include so I was stream so hash include coni over okay so int main so according to the school standards so it turns zero since we are using the turn zero and guess it okay so we have just add all the basic stuff here so I'm just making my room, uh, some room for myself, okay. So first, uh, C style strings. Uh, so if you have any background of uh, C programming language, uh, so you don't feel any difficulty to uh, to learn how to define uh, or uh, declare a C style string, okay. So to do that, uh, we need to have a character uh, a data type, okay. So if we take a character array, uh, so let's say that uh, first name, okay. So let's take it as a 20. Uh, so how much you wanted you can take, okay? So this is the way of uh, defining a, a string in a C style format, okay? So if you want to assign some value into that uh, f name variable, so you need to use this uh, special function uh, known as string copy, so which is defined in this uh, uh, string dot h header file, okay? So I have just <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so now I have just added the header file here for your information. Uh, so to use that string copy, uh, we need to have this header file. Uh, so I am just taking that first name. So I am just putting, uh, I am popping uh, some content into that uh, first name variable. So which is my uh, surname. Okay. So whatever you want, you can take. Uh, my surname is sorry. Okay. It's followed by my last name or my original name. So whatever you want, you can take a variable. Okay. So there is apart from this uh, kind of. So if you want, you can uh, with the help of our uh, contemporary steward statement. Before using that, we need to add this uh, using namespace std. So using namespace std. Okay. So steward. Uh, oh, we call. Uh, so you can say it will have a message. Okay. The first name is equal to or the surname is equal to whatever you want it so my surname goes like this surname is equal to and you can say something like this uh, f name okay so if you run your uh, program with the help of f5 or uh, run button so you get uh, my surname is equal to the sorry here okay so apart from that uh, there is also another way to uh, define a string or uh, using a character pointer okay uh, since arrays and pointers are interlinked uh, with each other, so you can use one of them uh, interchangeably. So the, the other way to define a string in a C style format is that uh, you can take something like this: so cat star, uh, let's say uh, name or uh, original name or name. So cat star name uh, you can say something else. If you use the pointer, you have this flexibility uh, to directly assign uh, the value or uh, to it directly okay so now also if you have your uh, your statement uh, the name or you can say the original name so original name is equal to so every person has a first name surname last names according to their uh, community or society where they live they have uh, is all kinds of names three different categories or sections okay so if you run it oh it's very messy 
let's have some uh, slash slash these formatting uh, characters here okay the same way here also right on your program <coughs> so you get the name the, the surname the original name okay so now uh, you can do one uh, one more thing uh, you can have uh, a full name uh, kind of thing okay so you can say again care uh, you can say uh, full name or uh, whatever you wanted okay so let's change it to s name uh, since we have uh, taken a uh, uh, so name for full name here okay so s name also you can change here to this to s name okay so now you can if you take uh, instead of taking a full name directly you can say directly f name here, okay so f name uh, so now again you can use your uh, string concat function here okay so if you have uh, some c background uh, this function strcat which is defined in this uh, help file uh, string concat its sole purpose is to uh, join uh, two strings here okay so if at all uh, you want to join your original uh, surname and your original name which you have taken here as a in the form of a variable name so using the strcat function here okay so you can say something like this as name uh, comma name okay so what happens is uh, that uh, both the strings get concatenated and uh, the result uh, since if you take this as source and destination the both gets uh, concatenated and uh, automatically the final value is again stored in this uh, uh, starting uh, source variable which is name here okay so now if you uh, again <coughs> Since it's winter, I'm getting a cold all the time. <laughs> I'm getting cough for that. So now if you want, you can say uh, the full name. So I can have some uh, good and uh, uh, reasonable uh, messages. Okay. So my full name is equal to, okay. So our full name is, you can say something like this. You can have your is equal to symbol to show that you are having a variable. You can say simply as name here. Okay, so run your program uh, by pressing the five. <laughs> Again, we haven't used this uh, slash slash t, which is very annoying. Okay, so you get the my full name here. Okay, the sorry uh, Shrika. Okay, so since it's a bit messy here. Uh, so if you want you can correct it by just having some space uh, when you are assigning uh, your original name here okay so if you try to maintain some sort of space here uh, directly when you are uh, concatenating uh, using your uh, uh, what we call strcot function uh, directly it uh, joins both the strings with some gap in between okay so now just to have uh, mentioned some space here now i'm joined i'm uh, now joining those, those two strings with this uh, small amount of uh, space uh, which is kept here okay so we run the program so you get the output here with the space here okay so this is the way uh, to handle or play with strings in c++ using the c style original format here okay so to summarize once again uh, so here we have uh, let's put a comment here at the beginning c style uh, String handling, uh, let's say uh, string handling in C style. Okay, <laughs> one of the most stylish. Okay, so here we have taken a uh, defined a string here. Okay, so first string which I have called it as this name, and the second string, and the second string I have uh, uh, taken as a care name to store the original name. The first string stores the surname. So again, finally using this. Uh, strcit function i have just concatenated the both the strings and directly uh, outputted using the s name variable okay okay so this is the basic stuff about how to handle uh, strings in c++ using the c style format so see you in the next lesson goodbye